Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. Today we're covering the anime DC film Green Lantern First Flight. Yes. One of the classics. Yes, and this film shows the journey of Hal Jordan becoming the first human Green Lantern and proving himself as a hero to the Green Lantern Corps. Yes. <laughs> and before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and play the notification bell to have some future podcasts and all the pause video. Yes, I know it's pronounced Corp, but. Yeah, I yeah. Love yes. <laughs> so, so this is one that you have been wanting to buy for a while, and you finally got to purchase it. Yes, it took it. Yeah, it did take a long time since you know we really haven't seen many Green Lantern properties aside from the uh, live action movie we don't talk about, and we had seen one version of Green Lantern on the Justice League, and we decided to see if any of the animated takes fared any better and we did like the green lantern animated series Mm -hmm. that was on cartoon network for a time and then when that got canceled we tried looking for something else green lantern related and years later we found the two director dvd movies that they had for hal jordan Mm -hmm. and now it's funny that we're covering this because now they have one coming out for john stewart he finally gets an animated movie yes finally after all these years this one, unfortunately, wasn't anything to get excited about when you watch it in terms of expecting something new or additional mm-hmm. to be added to the story. It was pretty much standard fare. Yeah, it was just a rundown of Hal's journey to getting the ring, uh, being sent to Oa, uh, proving he can be a lantern, uh, Sinestro being evil, as you can tell because of his name. And Russell Saving. kept saying, his name is Sinestro, Sin, Sinestro. Right. <laughs> like, you would think that these uh, intelligent beings would figure that out long before he betrays them. And it really goes through that. And unfortunately, part of it feels like it goes through the motions. We don't want to say it's dated because the story is really kept intact just about every time it's told True. in every media. So nothing's wrong with the... Uh, backstory or the origin itself it's just the way they did it everything moved too fast Mm -hmm. and like you're really going like it's like from here to here to here to here like okay he's in the plane oh there's the alien oh he gets the ring and then it flash forward okay he's a hero but you don't see how he became a hero then lanterns come and say okay he took the ring okay he said all that no go to Oa and then it just keeps going like that the whole movie and it's nearly two hours you would think it would slow down and really go through each thing, each part of the story, so you understand the character and the interaction with the others, but it's so focused on trying to get the whole story out there on at once that it sort of suffers from that. True. And it also gave us a different appearance of the way he looks, Hal Jordan. He didn't look the traditional way he normally looks. He looked really different. Yes. And... It was almost unrecognizable. And it's funny, you know, you would really recognize him because of how he's designed as if he had the mask and everything on. Right? <laughs> it's like it's sort of the opposite way for here. <laughs> now, they had a few voice actors that we were real familiar with. Yeah. Doing the, well, for the casting. Yeah, they had like Nathan Fillion doing uh, Hal Jordan. Which was really a surprising choice. Yeah, and they had... No, I think it was um, Christopher Maloney. He kind of sounds like me. Oh, okay. Like we've heard him do another DC character. Yeah. But this one was Christopher Maloney. And you also had Kurtwood Smith from that 70s show, which was a big surprise. Mm-hmm. John Larroquette, which was also a big surprise. Yeah. Michael Mars did a big surprise. Yeah. And Victor Garber, half of Firestorm on the CW. Yes. And this almost was a surprise because... When they did these DC movies, they would really put a lot of these TV and even movie stars doing the voices of the characters, meaning that they really took the time for it to be taken seriously as a superhero epic, just like you would if it was a theatrical movie or live action. And everyone did well in their roles. Nothing was wrong with the voice cast. They performed well. They did the best they could with the lines they were given. It's just that the way the story was written, you didn't have enough time to care about anyone. And this is a bit jarring because we don't even really see that many guest stars in movies like this anymore. 
they reserve them for theatrical films now. They no longer get TV stars. They no longer get movie stars. They get some voice acting stars, which is nothing wrong with that. But they tend to only get ones who are not well known. They don't really get the veterans much anymore. They get ones you've never heard of or they're new and this is their very first project. So this was actually kind of refreshing to see since it's been a long time since we've seen a movie like that. And I'm not sure the year, but I can say that... Um, no, it's got to be 2000. That's yeah. about it. But when you say rush, yeah, I was only 75 minutes. That's the only way you know that it was pretty rushed. Right. It was barely of an hour. But the... The uh, movie itself does have a second disc with some great special features. That's quite a, true. Quite a few. And you, that's what you really loved about seeing the older DC movies mm -hmm. when you would buy them on DVD. You would always get a second disc with a lot of trailers. You would get some bonus episodes from some popular DC series. Right. Especially Batman or something like that. You get cast interviews, you get commentary, you would get so much. Right. And now they kind of chintz on that and they just, hey, you got the movie, be grateful for that. Right. So Easy. that was a real great thing about this particular movie. Right. And another good thing is that they didn't really, it seems from, from what I've learned, they didn't really change the story in a way like they added something that wasn't there or took out important events. Um, they stuck to the origin. They just told it too fast. That's yeah. really the only problem. They have slowed down and taken the time to get to know how and Kilowog and these other characters and seeing how Sinestro uh, end up turning evil, which you could actually is one of the few parts that was developed. You could see it starting. And the only thing that really wasn't clear is that did he really start off good and then he got corrupted because he started going too far or was he always like this and the ring somehow just couldn't tell the difference because his will to do that was so strong and went to him. That's the only part that's not clear. Sure, I agree. And that would have also extended the movie a little more if you could have gotten into 90 minutes then it would have felt like you got a more full story right. and as you say you got a better introduction to the characters for someone not familiar with this particular um, part of the franchise Green Lantern and just watching it, yeah, there's a whole lot missing that remains unclear. Right. So, you know, stretching into 90 minutes would have been a good thing. Right. And as you pointed out, the bonus features are great. If you happen to, like, not be so satisfied with the movie, there's a thing about over an hour, maybe two hours of bonus features that go behind the scenes with the voice actors what's going to be the next project. You could tell that they really cared about people seeing this movie. They even had some bonus episodes of other DC shows. And then probably one of the best things about it is that they even had an episode of Doug Dodgers yes. where uh, Daffy became a Green Lantern. <laughs> so that was another great part of it. And they really made sure you had enough to satisfy you, even if you weren't completely satisfied with the movie. If you were, then you got even more stuff to look forward to. And if I'm not mistaken, this takes place before the theatrical movie with... Doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was just telling the story in animation. Yeah. So, clearly from the theatrical movie, they didn't go from this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, again, if you are looking for something to watch that brings you back to the fun days of DC animated movies where you had fun, you got a lot of bonus features, and the story was interesting, this is something to watch. Yes. Again, it's not as good as some of the other releases they had, mm -hmm. but it is entertaining in its own right. right. And again, the bonus features are fantastic really miss getting all this content right um like we do right so we will of course be covering the john stewart green lynch movie when we get a chance to see it and we'll also be covering the other uh green lynch movie long before they did a new one one called emerald nights which is more of an anthology and i think that's also before the ryan reynolds movie right. as well so right. again it's obvious that for the theatrical movie they didn't refer to uh, things they had done prior right. to make the movie fuller or to give him more of an accurate representation or performance of whom Green Lantern was. Right. And 
it shows right so if you have seen green lantern first light let us know what you think in the comments below if you haven't seen it you probably have to find it used um, yeah. half price books like rascal found it i don't think i recall seeing it on amazon but you um, can check and i don't know if, if uh is there still the dc streaming service I don't think so. I haven't heard about it anymore. I think now these movies would be on HBO Max. That's what I was going to say. So that would probably be your only chance if they're carrying the DC animated movies. Right. And if you haven't already, subscribe for updates and weekly videos on your favorite anime series, animated shows, and all things animation. Absolutely. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Rask Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace.